What's up everybody? Phil with Photo Gear Fun here today with your first look at the Canon RF 16mm f2.8 STM lens. I've got it here on the Canon R5 body. I wanted to show you how it does for stabilization. Pay attention to the corners, see if there's any warble here. I'm kind of in a in the woods over by the pond where I usually like to do these tests so you can see how the stabilization works out. A bunch of rocks and stumps and stuff that I have to walk over. Auto ISO, not 1 60th of a second, F4 on the lens. It does open up to F2.8. I've got just in-body stabilization on. And what I'll do is I'll give you a couple more clips. One with the image stabilization, electronic image stabilization on, and then an enhanced, and you can pay attention to the crop. But again, pay attention to the corners over here. See if there's any warble. I'll do a little bit of this. Let me give you an idea on how this looks. I've got a tripod. Just extended my arms about half extended so this is again the Canon RF 16 millimeter f 2.8 with IBIS on on the Canon R5 we'll go ahead and switch over to the electronic image stabilization just on and then we'll set it to enhanced okay this is with electronic image stabilization just turned to on not to enhanced the noise you hear in the background is the, the fountain at the pond and this is what the stabilization looks like. Again, I'm holding it about arm's length with the tripod. I'm not taking great care to walk, walking over roots and stumps and rocks, but this should give you an idea on how it looks from a stabilization perspective. Again, this is standard electronic image stabilization. And what I'll do next is throw on the enhance and we'll see there's gonna be a little bit of a crop, but you can see what that looks like as well on this. Canon RF 16mm f2.8. Again, we're at f4. It will open up to f2.8. So let's go ahead and switch all over to enhanced image stabilization. Okay, now we are enhanced. I can definitely see the crop just on the screen here. So again, I just wanted to do a quick first look. We'll, I'll be doing some more tests of this lens for both photo and video, but I wanted to get this out in case you're considering it for vlogging. This is IBIS and enhanced, but you can see the crop. Again, pay attention to the stabilization. Walking on very uneven ground over here. I also got the 100 to 400 RF. I'll definitely be reviewing that. I want to get some time with it to do some photos. I bought it primarily for photos. Not really going to use it for video, but if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. You'll see that hopefully sometime next week. I just wanted to get this one out to you, and then maybe next week I'll have a a fuller review of this lens as well. So there's the enhanced stabilization. How did that do? I'm going to look at this footage as I upload it and in the comments section down below I'll let you know what I thought of the stabilization. Go ahead and tell me what you think. Let me know what you think. If this is a good lens. It was I believe around $400 or maybe $499. I can't remember. I'll put the price down there too. But definitely an interesting wide-angle lens for photography and based on how this video looks it might actually be good for for vlogging so hope you found this informational uh, go ahead and subscribe if you feel like you would enjoy more content uh, leave me a like if you like this video and i will talk at you again in the next video